Hello everyone, how's it going? Just making this quick video. So this is basically based on the first order motion model, which was developed by this gentleman. Now, normally if you want to run this model, it requires a lot of dependencies and there are quite a bit of moving parts that you need to take care of. In fact, especially with respect to the weights and the configuration files. But uh, this gentleman right here with the name of Dimitris over here, he created a, basically a wrapper for Python using pip install. So you can simply install this whole library, this whole package using this pip install deep animator and you can run the first order motion model in your own file and i think uh, this does not even require a collab or a gpu and it was able to run now if you check into this one runtime i have it as none and it was able to run properly without any issues so in the description you'll find the link to the collab file and you can just simply go ahead and open it up and this particular library this uh, section over here will install all the libraries that we need especially the deep animator pi by aml these are all libraries that we need in order to run this file. Now, uh, I do have some uh, G down files. So this is basically connected to a Google Drive where we are downloading some of the videos and some of the uh, images that we need for this particular program. So we have this 00.mp4. This is basically the driving video. And we have the got 09 png This is the end image which will be animated using the 00.mp4 video so this is the driving video and this is the end result image which will be animated using this video so once we have that taken care so it, this is basically uh, updating the configuration file the yaml file and you're doing that right here and with that then you have these two images which are going to be downloaded and this last section over here this will basically use the image that we want to animate and also the driving video and then just run the deep animator using the first order motion model. It will give you the output right here in the generated video.mp4 and we will look at the output right now. So it's a very simple application, very simple uh, way of running it. Now, some of the applications of this thing is, if you go to the first order motion model, you can see how a driving video can basically replace or drive other all other stationary images, basically in terms of motion. So the, this is a very cool technology and still it's in growing stages because these are all lower resolution images and uh, in terms of animation they are still quite a bit of because uh, the image also takes care of the foreground when you're animating an image uh, it's not just animating the face but also the foreground so those are so, so there are some issues which still need improvement but uh, at the moment it's a state of the art the one of the best uh, deep animation applications that are available out there so with that you guys take care stay safe bye bye